All right, guys. So I figured I'd try a new um, video series here on the channel. Um, I'm calling it Derap's Apocalypse, which um, basically originates from the um, very... Uh, well, it's from an oldish uh, phrase that I came up with when I was younger, because when you rear giraffes of myron, you can really rear giraffes of myron, and you can crank out hundreds, if not thousands, of larvae with very little effort. And so whenever I have a great excess of pupae and I'm re ready for them to all start emerging, I just call it getting ready for giraffe's apocalypse, because you can get dozens, if not hundreds, of adults in a given day. Um... I have several dozen pupae from last generation um, that have overwintered, and so let's just do a quick intro to everything. So this is the emergence cage where I have the um, giraffes. Uh, I would typically um, have them in an outdoor setup, but because of the coronavirus, um, I wasn't able to get help with setting up the um, shade cloth that would be um, in the normal protective house for them. Yes, it's a two-person job, so I have to deal with... Um, a lot of indoor emergence and rearing, which is a little bit more of a pain in the neck, but, you know, it is what it is. So, they are in this cage. They were pulled out of the fridge the third week of April. So, it's been about 20 days since I pulled them out of the fridge, and now they're emerging. I've had several males emerge over the past three days, and we finally have a female here. That's, sorry, you know what? Let me open this. That's the female, and then all these other guys are males, even the really fat-looking ones. You can see the nice color of that guy. He's a green. Most of them are green, but that guy's more brownish. That's an empty giraffe, so pupa. Um, there's a male hanging out there. There are some Luna pupae that are getting ready to emerge, some that aren't yet ready to emerge. So we finally have a female in there as well as multiple suitors for her. Um, you can tell if it's a male or female by looking at the abdomen. You notice that the males, it looks like they have a calligraphy pen end to the abdomen, whereas the end of the female's abdomen is far um, more tapered and um, conical rather than this weird calligraphy pen type of ending to the abdomen. So we're going to watch these guys as they make their babies and as their babies develop. Um, we have three generations of the, them a year in Rhode Island. Um, it's a moth that feeds on grape. Um, and it's one of my favorite insects to rear. It's definitely my favorite sphingid. You don't have to feed them as adults. They'll mate and lay eggs without too much effort on your part. The only real problem with them is sometimes you get um, virus outbreaks in your um, colonies. It's not the only species that's having a viral outbreak right about now, but um, it really depends on the year. What I find is that if it's a particularly humid summer, if you rear them on um, Boston Ivy, you get less condensation inside of their um, rearing containers, and that reduces the um, disease incidence. So this is not going to be an overly formal series. It's kind of just looking at the uh, Myron as they develop. Um, I'm not rearing giraffes of Chorilus this year, which is the Azalea Sphinx. I had them a couple of years ago, but they failed to produce another generation. It was weird. They just didn't emerge. I don't know what was wrong. We've got a male Luna moth that emerged. Actually, if you want to see the rearing room real quick. Maybe I'll make like an overall rearing room series too. <laughs> 